everyone, Katie here from Thrift Tear Hard Out, and today I've got another thrift haul for you. And these were all the items that I found during the Labor Day sales that were going on at the thrift stores around me. So I went to Salvation Army and Goodwill, and they were both having 50% off of most of the items in their store. So I found some pretty awesome things, and I can't wait to share them with you. So first, I'm going to start off with the items that I found from Salvation Army. Alright, so first up is actually not a clothing item, oddly enough. Um, I kind of needed a new chair to do my um, video taking in, so I found, let me get up so you guys can see, I found this really lovely uh, leather chair, and it's got, I mean, it's in beautiful condition, and it's very comfortable and perfect for me to sit here and share with you guys. <laughs> but um, it was apparently in a set, but it looked like people had kind of broken that up. So it was marked at $30 for the chair, and then since it was the sale date, it was $15 for this chair. I can't even imagine how much it was originally, so I'm pretty excited about this one. And it's, uh, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> I like it a lot, so you'll be seeing a little bit of it anyway with these videos that I do from now on, so. That was the first item that I found. All right, so on to the good stuff, right? On to the clothing. So first up, I found this um, referee style shirt. It's by Calvin Klein, but it's um, it's a sweater material, so it'll be better for the cooler months coming up. But um, I just, I mean, obviously I love stripes so much, and I like that they were um, vertical instead of horizontal stripes. It's kind of odd to find those. It's not. I usually find horizontal ones, so it's kind of a, a departure. Um, but I don't know, I just like the gray and the white and thought it would be really cute, you know, layered over maybe a colored shirt or um, underneath a blazer or something. So I just really liked this. Um, and this one was $2.99. So then of course it was half off of that. So can't beat that for a Calvin Klein shirt. So next up for tops that I found at Salvation Army was this really pretty, silky, kind of Asian inspired sleeveless top. And it's by Robert Lewis, which I've never heard of that brand before. Um, but I just happened to come across it on the tank tops and, you know, thought it was just so pretty and unique. I really love the kind of um, flower print all over it and then the little bow details that are here and then again at the bottom there. Um, but I thought it was just really pretty and different. Um, but that's kind of what I love about the tank tops is that you can kind of look at them all year round because it's not hard to throw on a cardigan, throw on a jacket or a blazer and make it work for the fall and winter. So um, I always make sure to check those out when I'm at thrift stores and they're always um, really, really good deals because it's less fabric perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. They're just always, you know, under $5 for a tank top, which is pretty good. Uh, so this one was marked at $3.99 and then of course half off, so it was $2. Alright, so I also found this uh, polka dot tank top while I was, I was actually looking at the pants and I happened to catch the polka dots out of the corner of my eye and of course zeroed in on it because you all know I love my polka dots. Um, so I just happened to pick it up and it's my size and it's just a really, you know, cute, casual little tank top to wear. Um, but it's actually got purple polka dots, I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, but I just thought it was really cute, and it was marked at $2.99, so $1.50 for just a simple little top will be great to add into my collection. Alright, so next up is probably my favorite thing that I found at the Salvation Army on Labor Day, and it is this beautiful green kind of skater skirt um, dress that I found. I I don't know what came over me. I just saw it with the dresses and went, I've got to try that on. <laughs> and I'm so happy I did. It is just, it's really, really cute on. But um, I just love the little details here. The Peter Pan collar, of course, I love that. And I don't know if you guys can tell, there's little cutouts on either side. Gives it a little, little bit of edginess, which I thought was cool. And I literally have nothing this color in my closet, so I'm really happy to be adding this to the collection. Um, and this is by a brand called Mustard Seed. Again, I've not heard of it. Um, and it was marked at $3.99, so I got it for half off. So $2 for a completely trendy dress that you'd probably pay, I don't even know, between $20 and $40 for in the mall is pretty awesome. I'm really, really happy I found this one. Alright, so finally from the Salvation Army, I found a couple of necklaces. So uh, first up, I found this one here. It's 
got this kind of pearlescent heart and beads on it with these kind of um, peach colored beads in between. Um, you know, I kind of, I was drawn to the colors first and then I just love the shape of it. It's very different. Um, but I just thought that was really sweet and cute. You can just add it to any old t-shirt and make it more interesting. But I'm always looking for kind of statement jewelry, um, just because it's that thing that kind of takes something boring and makes it interesting. And it's kind of the perfect backdrop for these really cool, really unique pieces. Um, so I'm really happy that I found this one that I can add to the collection. And this was only $3, so not bad at all. All right, so then the other necklace that I found is this really pretty hefty um, multi-strand silver necklace that I found and this was a little bit pricey. It was eight dollars. Um, still a much better deal than you'll find things for at Macy's for example. Even on their sale racks it's you know you're gonna be spending a pretty penny for basic jewelry. Um, but it just kind of caught my eye when it was kind of all bundled in the bag there. It's got these really different textures to the different strands here so you know I think that'll be kind of a cool thing to just add on and kind of toughen up a look a little bit. Um, so yeah, really happy with that one. Alright, so that's everything that I found at the Salvation Army on Labor Day. Um, so I got three tops, a dress, two necklaces, and of course my chair for all about $31. So that's really not bad at all for things that I'm so happy that I found that are totally unique. Not like anything else that you're going to find at the mall or at the big department stores. Um, so you guys definitely, if I haven't said it enough, go check out those thrift stores on sale days like Labor Day. Um, you know, 50% off, you can't afford not to go. Um, and just a little tip, the store that I went to in Ranch Cordova um, it was really not packed at all. It was just kind of a normal operations day, uh, which is great because I know a lot of people tend to kind of psych themselves out and think that it's going to be a little too hectic and crazy and people are going to be grabbing at things, but it was mellow. All of the employees are lovely. <laughs> So I definitely suggest going for the next holiday sale and I'll make sure to share that with you guys. Alright, so next up I will share with you what I found at the Rancho Cordova Goodwill store. Uh, the store is on Coloma just off of Sunrise and it's always good because I'll go to the Salvation Army store and then hit up that Goodwill on my way home. Um, just since it's on the way, it's just a perfect stop and they've always got good stuff. So let me share with you what I found. So again, the Goodwill that I went to was having 50% off of most of the items in their store. And I say most of the items because they have these kind of houseware items that are never part of the 50% off sale. Um, but everything else, all of the clothing, all of the shoes, all of the accessories are all 50% off. So it's, um, it's a pretty good deal. Um, so I happened to really score on shoes this time around. I found four pairs of shoes, so it's pretty awesome. Um, and at this particular store that I go to, I always seem to have good luck with finding shoes. Who knows why. First up, I found these uh, really cute square toe little pumps by Ellen Tracy. And these ones were marked at $5, so then they were half off of that, so $2.50. For just really great basic shoes um, and the thing that really drew me to these ones is that they're kind of vintage inspired in a way just with the um, square toe that they have and I think that they'll really go well with the kind of flirtier bigger skirts that I wear on my dresses and such um, and they're super comfortable so that never hurts either <laughs> but I just thought these were a great kind of basic shoe to have. Alright, so next up for shoes, I found these really cute brown leather loafers. Um, and I just, I kind of like the idea of a big sweater with jeans and just your little loafers and you're good to go for a fall day. Big scarf or something maybe. Um, but these are just super comfortable. They're in really great condition. No real scuffs or anything, which is nice. Um, and these were also only $5 and of course half off of that. Alright, so the next shoes that I found um, might not look very cute to the eye, but there's a reason that I chose them. They are these little Clark's booties that I found. 
Um, and if you guys aren't familiar with the Clarks brand, they're kind of known for their amazingly comfortable footwear. They're meant to be worn all day. They come in really cute, you know, heels and boots and everything. Um, but I tried these on and they feel like butter. They're <laughs> so darn comfortable. And I just thought that these would be really cute um, with black leggings, with jeans, trouser jeans. I think they, these would look really good with. Um, they got, had the little zipper detail on the side there. Um, but these, again, were marked at $5. So $2.50 for Clark's great brand um, booties is just phenomenal. I was really excited for these. All right, so last but not least for the shoes that I found at Goodwill um, are these... I have no idea how to pronounce this brand. <laughs> Let me show you to you guys. Maybe you guys can kind of wager a guess at how to pronounce that. Um, but these little nude with the buckle peep toe pumps, they're in like brand new condition. I mean, really, I don't think anybody wore these. Um, but I'm always kind of on the hunt for the perfect nude shoe. I'm very fair skinned, so it's kind of tricky sometimes. Um, but I tried these on and I was shopping with my mom and she kind of goes, oh, it looks like they melt into your foot. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. That's perfect. That's what I want. Um, cause sometimes it, t it helps to elongate the leg if you have the nude shoe that doesn't chop you off at the ankle. So I was very excited to find these. Um, and these were kind of on the pricey side. These were marked at $15. So they were $7.50 little steep, but <laughs> I was pretty happy to pay it. Um, I think I'll be wearing these quite often and they are just gorgeous. Love these. All right, guys. So I've got something kind of awesome to share with you. Um, I had heard urban myths about people finding, uh, high end designer items for a total steal. I happen to have a friend who has multiple of this designer and it kills me that every time she beats me to it and she finds these great dresses. And today, today it all came together. The stars aligned, it all worked out, and I found a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress in my size yeah, for, get this, just brace yourselves, just take a minute, just brace yourselves, $4. Oh my god, <laughs> I was so excited, and I don't know what it was about this particular dress, but I saw it on the rack and I just zeroed in. I was like, I need to see what this dress is, and lo and behold, it was DVF, 100% silk, in a print that I love, um, in my size. I just, it's just, it was a great day. <laughs> I'm just so beyond happy to find this. And, um, I literally, I had my mom hold it and I did like a little happy dance, like in the middle of the store. Cause I just, I couldn't believe my luck. So this is just something that I'm going to wear a ton. Um, it, it's going to fit really well. The material is just wonderful. So soft. Um, and this print is just timeless. I mean, that's what we love about yeah, these yeah. dresses that are, that can fit a whole range of sizes and prints that are universally f flattering. So I'm just. I'm just really happy. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for what I found at Goodwill for their Labor Day sale that they were having. Uh, let me know if you guys did some shopping on Labor Day and what amazing things that you found. I would love to hear them. So go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'll make sure to check them out. And of course, as always, thanks for stopping by and happy thrifting. Bye, guys.